expecting an additional one. <laughs> Wait for the parish. No, 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 no. Well, as you were. That's what the fanny pack is for. for. Uh, you can buy them. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It's like $50. It has baby chains. It's an eagle there somewhere. Eagle and a loon. There's a good chance, I'm still instructor, that uh, they can steal the loon's cats right from them when they do. All right, young buddy, you're breaking all the That'd be a cool scene watching an eagle steal a loon's meal. There's a black dot there on that branch. And we get We're looking for an eagle. Feet, you'll see the white of his head when we lose the background. Right about there. There he is. Oh, I white see dot. him. Does everybody see him? I see him. him. Alright, see the big oh, white? Oh yes, now I see him. Yeah, okay. yeah, you have to get the dark green yeah. contrast when you see him. So, uh, if you tip the ferryman, you get the ferryman's blessing. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, so, we got the car uh, yeah, so I, you should t tip the ferryman. Just a couple bucks, you know? And, uh, really cool guy. It takes a while to get across the river. We were sitting there for about an hour and a half. So, uh, um, now I'm headed towards Caratunk, which ain't much. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I could go into town and get a Coke or Pepsi or something, you know, Gatorade, I don't know. But it doesn't sound like it. But, anyway. Freaking beautiful. It's the Kennebec River. And I think we could have walked across here. Sure looks like it. A little further north here. Oh yeah. So I think there's areas you can walk across the river, but there's no need to. The ferry is free. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful trail too. It's going to be all uphill. This is, again, one of the lowest points on the trail at 500 feet above sea level or thereabouts. So, of course, I think I have about a 2,000 foot gain and a little ways. There'll be some climbing. There's always some climbing. But I'm feeling good. Maine is crazy. Crazy cool. It really is. You may as well be in Alaska. So on top of Pleasant Pond Mountain. Actually, probably should have did this video a little higher. But look at this place. It's just dead quiet. No wind. More beautiful mountains to come. This one was a pretty easy, like, 1,200-foot climb. But... Uh, <clears throat> sure looks like rain looks like definitely rain in that direction okay and we got one big mountain in the clouds there I don't know what that is but I'm heading towards it dang it it's a big one I really love these sections when you get on top of the mountains. And you know, the, the weather has just kept the rocks all, or the, um, the bedrock all um, 
exposed. But, <laughs> you can really lose the trail pretty easy. Here we go. There. <laughs> See, I missed that. Ah. Terrible at this. I get looking around. Because there's usually a view up here, but there's really not one. But, it's just so damn pretty. It's just, nah, I'm not used to this. This is all, just triggers all kinds of, uh, uh, I don't know. It's just very interesting to look at for me. <laughs> Still haven't got over it. But, also, what the hell? Let me sit again. <laughs> Uh, but you don't you're not in these areas very often and to get here you usually have to climb get lost well what the hell this looks like people are using it I guess maybe I do just go right up it just didn't make any sense oh I guess I was supposed to cross right there. I gotta pay attention. <laughs> okay, there's the marker. Ah, it's so cool though. Okay. Chip, where are you buddy? Is. <laughs> He's pretty mad. Where'd he go? Hmm. He really <laughs> he sounded pissed. <laughs> then he went down in his hole or something. Of this in Maine. Just big, quiet, beautiful lakes, ponds. Nobody around. Crystal clear water. Come on. Come on. Probably full of trout, I would imagine. It looks like trout feeding out there. It's a good time for trout to be feeding. Hmm. It's cool. Places are just so cool looking. Just rocks, boulders just scattered here and there. It's like a glacial moraine, which is probably exactly what it is. But I think of a moraine in Michigan as being really sandy and giant rocks and some limestone protruding out. But anyway, I don't know if so I don't know if that's a proper term for it. It's cool, because I'm so not used to it. Look back at that, that's uh, mossy bald. It's pretty cool. It's not mossy bald. Moxie bald. So I'm getting to camp pretty late, like about 8 p.m. And, but the cool thing is, because the other, Horse flies. The other side of the, um, uh, that's a shelter area. It was packed. <laughs> and I came down here, I got this place to myself. That's awesome. It looks very soft here, too. And look at that.
<laughs> That's just beautiful. It's so secluded too, you know. There's no houses or anything. It's awesome. I think I heard a moose. Only because I don't know what the hell else it, the noise was. And it kind of kind of sounded like a horse or a cow kind of mix. And I heard some splashing in the water. And then some footsteps. <laughs> and then I then you then I got you. <laughs> Mosquitoes are so thick. I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, I had a long day though. Like 22 miles. But that was after I had to wait for breakfast. Uh, pancake, which is well worth it, amazing. And, um, so didn't leave there till eight. Had to wait, got to the ferry, did like three miles to the ferry. That, that took about two hours. So, about 11 a.m., I was back. So, I'd only done three miles by 11 a.m. It was all good, I had fun. But then I had two mountains to climb. Maybe it was three. Three mountains? They weren't big. But anyway, I did 22 and a half miles. That's a really good day in Maine. For me, anyway. <sighs> that was my goal. Try to do 20. And uh, I did it before I knew it. <laughs> it's cool. I wasn't trying very hard. Just the terrain got, it's nice, it's nice, even though there's two mountains, they weren't like scrambling up rock faces or anything like that. It was just hiking uphill for a while. Alright, so that's what I gotta do tomorrow, and then I'll be in Monson. Don't know how many miles, I think I got 20 miles to go. Wow, I'm gonna be in Monson tomorrow. Shoot, I hope I get a room or a bunk or whatever, I mean. Shoot.